Hi guys, Frost Fangs here, and welcome back once again to another Paladins video. Today we're playing some Sky on TDM Trade District with a Diamond Drogos, Diamond Talus, Master Sky, and Silver Strix up against another Strix and Ash, a Ruckus, a Genos, and a Vivian. Now this is a loadout I have tried play with this one in-game. I actually had this request sent in to my email. Most of the time it's usually from the comments or social media, but somebody wanted to email this one to me. I looked at it, I gave it a go, and surprisingly it works pretty well. So I just want to give a little shout to Hiran because he was the guy that originally suggested this loadout. They've got three masters, a platinum and a diamond. Now basically this is spamming your smoke bomb. You throw your smoke bomb out, it's got its cooldown massively reduced. You hit somebody with your poison bolts which resets the cooldown on your Q and then you get to throw it again. Obviously if you use legendary card that buffs its damage or gives it damage to begin with, 600, you get like 1200 from the smoke bomb and then the bonus damage from your poison bolts if you land. This doesn't work if you miss your poison bolts so keep that in mind. Smoke and dagger, this is the loadout. Reduce cooldown of smoke screen by 5 seconds. Hitting an enemy reduces the cooldown of it by 2.5 seconds and reducing the cooldown of poison bolts. These two are filler cards. And actually picked it this time because last time when we made the victor video yesterday you guys may actually remember this i didn't equip my loadout or my legendary card in the first game and that's why there was no effect at all and that's why the first match went so badly was because i didn't really have a loadout and i didn't have a legendary card so i want to point that out because some of you guys left me a comment in the comment section of the last video being like yo spencer you didn't actually pick anything because you were too slow that is correct i didn't i failed massively so i'll try and show you how this loadout works so you throw it you use the freaking freaking right click and then you throw it again. Sorry, that was terribly explained. So this loadout does rely kind of heavily on landing your right click, but you just throw your Q, you throw that, and then you throw it again. It works pretty well. You end up having a pretty high total damage by the end of the game, and if you do it well enough and you get used to the flow of it, you can actually kill squishy characters very, very fast. So I would highly recommend you give this one a go because I know it works and it is a lot of fun to play with. There's a perfect example of how you're meant to use that. Let's use our invis and then just slowly waddle away. See if we can get that combo going again. Throw the Q, throw the stun. I didn't freaking land the right click that time. Don't know why I called it a stun to be honest. I'm gonna die here. It's fun, but if you miss your right click, it all kind of crumbles apart, so I would recommend it, but I would also recommend you get some practicing with Sky first, because I don't usually play that much Sky, and I feel like this is kind of awkward if you don't get the combo right. Like, if I miss that right click, I feel like I'm not really doing that much damage. We are 3 to 13 right now. I've only got 3 of those deaths, and I have got 1 of the eliminations, so I'm not doing too bad. I'm gonna just chuck my ult in there, and then focus on trying to kill this Ash. That kind of worked. I did a decent amount of damage there. If we have top damage, then I'll be happy. That Ash is really trying to get me, huh? Hello, Ash. There's my Q. I missed my poison bolts because it hit a shield because it does indeed get stopped on shields. She ulted anyway, so it didn't make much of a difference. So there are a few downsides to this. It still works pretty well even if you miss your stuff, but it just isn't anywhere near as effective. Like, as you saw there, we were able to get 1,200 on him really, really quickly. Either way, it's pretty fluid when you actually get it going and when you're used to playing Sky. Like, if you play Sky usually and you try this later, it'll be pretty normal, but since I don't play Sky that much, it's kind of awkward for me. There's the Q, and she's gone. Thank you very much. And our Q's cooldown is instantly reset because we landed our poison bolts. There we go. Let's use the, the poison bolts again, and then we'll throw another Q. It's pretty good. I'm just not used to the range on that. I'm going to die if the Ash lands a shot on me here. Oh my lord, I'm very low health. Okay, cross map Q, throw another one, cross map Q, that's 1200 damage and we also managed to escape there. That was a pretty good play, I'm on 44 health right now. I've also just realised this fountain has a fish on it for some reason, or the gutter I suppose is what this is. Why? Hello Vivian, you just happened to walk past as I was looking at that weird thing. And she's gone. As you can see, this is very, very bursty. We're gonna get even more cronish just to make it more ridiculous and just easier overall. The one thing that might be confusing on this though is you might say, Hey, why does it say hitting enemies with poison bolts reduces the cooldown by two and a half seconds when it seemingly reduces it by seven? And that's because it's two and a half seconds for every poison bolt you hit and you throw out three poison bolts. So if you land all three of them, it reduces the entire cooldown because it's got seven seconds cooldown. And if you land all three of them, that's seven and a half seconds removed. Example, here you go. See, we just managed to throw two of them and now she's nearly dead and this is a tank and we are a fucking, we are a freaking flank and we nearly just completely removed that ash there. So that's the reason why that one works the way it does. It's kind of weird, but once you get the hang of it, it'll all seem pretty normal. And you're basically just using your Q the entire time and your right click. Strangely enough, that Strix isn't using the legendary card that buffs his his thingy get freaking wrecked strix is he not dead is he seriously alive where is that strix didn't he have poison bolts on him i i did help there kind of i could have done that a bit better but i did overall not do too bad we pulled it back though this ash is being super aggressive rest in peace my guy there we go kill to heal works quite well with this as well um, this one isn't going too badly, but I, I think I am still demonstrating that this legendary card and this loadout in general work.
works pretty well. Like, you're just so bursty if you get it going properly. And then if we land the poison bots again here, I miss those. Uh, there's the smoke bomb. Is he nearly out? Let's just get rid of this Strix. There we go, he's gone. Sometimes you kind of lose the fluidity of it if you mess up, and I have messed up a decent amount in this game. Like I said, if you're a professional Sky to begin with, this is just going to be like a whole new world to you. But then again, if you're a professional Sky, you probably played with this before. I'm just throwing that for the sake of the fact that the game's nearly over. And we managed to get a kill, although he could have easily escaped there if he tried hard enough. There's another Q. Let's invis. My invis didn't even trigger there for some reason. Land more poison bolts. There we go. Instantly reset the cooldown of IQ. I have a feeling that that Strix is coming for me, but he isn't. That's good. Let's see if we can actually recover this game. Because you've got to get five kills. They've got to get two. Okay, they've got to get even less now, I think. Cross map Q. There's another freaking poison bolts. There's another Q. Hello, Ash. Please don't do it. I'm just a poor little Sky. This is so unfair. You've got way more health than me. I don't like this. Let's use our F and stay in this invis and recover because we're actually in combat right now. And we're out of combat. Hello, Ash. There we go. There's two Qs. I'm not letting you push me off the map like that. Don't you try a cheesy tactic like that. Uh, can we kill her here? There's a Q. She's nearly gone. She's so low. We actually got her. Holy crap. We've actually nearly recovered this. If I die right now, I'm going to feel like I let everybody down. I didn't. Somebody else did, so I'm blaming it on them. What a game, though. That went pretty well. I don't think I'm going to have top damage, but I'm hoping I'll have at least top three damage. That's what we're aiming for. You are still really squishy, and the best way to use this is to get behind somebody, Q them, use your poison bolts, and Q them again, and you're nearly guaranteed to get that that kill. He got super lucky with his thing there. A couple things that I already feel like I should be tweaking in the loaders. I feel like I should buff my movement speed a little bit because I feel like I am a little bit slow, especially when I use my F. I miss the movement speed buff that I used to get from that from the normal loadout. I got six things here. VIP points, VIP points, VIP points, VIP points, and some crystals. I must have completed a quest or something. So we actually had 60,000 damage that game. Pretty much. We were like 70 something off, which is honestly way more than I thought we would have. We had 15k above everybody that match. I feel like we did pretty well. We may not have the best kill to death ratio and we also don't have that many assists but we had a shit ton of damage and I would highly recommend you try this loadout. I just checked this really quick and saw something about YouTube. Hold on, let me see what they're saying. Frost, shout out to MATV. That's their strix. He did pretty well. I gotta give him props. Put this on YouTube. I will, my guy. How the fuck is this play of the game? I, I'm not really sure either, Emmy. Honestly, that was it was kind of a strange top play, but I'll go with it. Top play is a bit weird at the moment. We're going to play another one. I feel like we could do another game, and I can maybe do a better job of explaining how this all works. You know, let's get emergency exit. I feel like that could be useful, just to put us in our stealth every 25 seconds when we get low. We are getting low quite a lot with Sky, so that does make sense. Dissipate's good because we are going in our queue, even though we are using it aggressively. A lot of the time, it is close to where we're using it, so that 10% buff is nice. All right, game two, Onslaught, Foreman's Rise. We've got a 23 Masters Bomb King, Diamond Andrew, Diamond Ceres, and Diamond Cassie. Shao, for some reason, is a little bit salty in the chat. I, I don't really know why. I agree with Lyrics, though. Report? Hell yeah. And now he's telling him to suck his foot in Spanish for some reason. We're going up against a Barak, a Cassie, a Lex, a Genos, and another Sky. So this is Onslaught, so this might be a little bit different. There is an objective, so technically we should do better, because then we can throw our bomb on the objective. Don't know how this is going to go. I don't think I've actually tried this in, in Onslaught, so this might go a little bit differently. They've got three Masters, a Lex, Cassie, and Barak. They've got two Diamonds, who are the Genos and the Cassie, on the Sky, sorry, not the Cassie. Okay, let's go. Smoke and Dagger, same loadout. Let's do it. I think I might try going for Nimble this time because I felt a little bit slow last match. I didn't feel like I was all that quick and I instantly now I'm noticing that 10% buff. Anybody? Hello, Lex. There's a Q for you. Uh, didn't get my Q reset because I missed my right click there. Maybe we should try and get this Genos. Let's even get the combo on the Genos. See how this works. Q. There we go. That worked perfectly. We pretty much removed his entire health bar in like half a second. That's a Barrack turret. Oh my lord, their Cassie deals way more damage than I was expecting. Then again, I've only got 2,000 health, so it is way more noticeable. Let's see if we can get up close with an invis and see if we can actually maybe pull something. Hello, Barak. There we go. That worked well. His entire health bar was nearly completely removed there. Looks like we're going to lose this fight, though. Or maybe not. Maybe. Oh my god, that was so close. I missed my right click, though. Thank you for the heal, Ceres. Hello, Lex. There's a completely ton of damage for you. A completely ton of damage. That's a proper English sentence right there, ladies and gentlemen. There's my F. Let's get out of combat because I am very, very low right now. Thank Thank you for the heal, Ceres. I appreciate you. I'm always bad with the sky. I never know how to use it properly. It used to be so much easier because you could just throw it on the payload and then be done with your day. But now I don't really know how I should be using it. Let's chuck it on top of there. That seems like a good idea, right? Hello, enemy sky. Why did you think standing still there was a good idea? Hello, Barak. There's no way I can win this. He's got such an unfair advantage here. I don't like it. One on one a Barak with hair trigger right now is really unfair. As a sky, it's so freaking hard to win that fight just because he's got more health 
and probably more damage output. And he's just he's just overall better suited to deal with me than I am to deal with him. What the fuck are you trying to do, Lex? Jesus Christ, he's so bad. Oh my god, I'm dead. I hate this. Ah, for some reason my F doesn't work again. I wasn't taking damage there, so I don't know why that didn't work. There we go. I actually managed to get that kill just about. Thank you for the free kill to heal heal. There's a Q. There's a reset. There's another Q. For some reason it doesn't seem to go through shields. I feel like it should, but it doesn't. I don't know why the Q doesn't go through shields. That's kind of dumb. There we go, he's gone, we actually managed to win a fight for once. We are definitely outplaying their Sky, I can say that much. We're definitely doing better than their Sky is. Hello, Lex. I missed it again. If you miss it, it just ruins the whole flow of the loadout, so you really do rely quite heavily on your right click. Go, I missed it again. There's an ult, might as well chuck it in. Will we actually kill anybody with that? Maybe? Nope, but we managed to move the barrack, so he's hopefully going to be dead now. There we go, again, we got another kill. Nice. That Lex is pretty close to being killed. Can we get a last shot on him? There we go. Thank you. Hello, Cassie. I missed it. Oh, no, I landed it. I landed it, so she's nearly dead. Yeah, the combo worked. The combo worked. My poison bolts did that entire thing for me, pretty much. There, that Genos is out. Oh, that Q was beautiful. Okay, I'm getting used to it now. I am very low. My auto invis actually saved me there, kind of. And the Ceres, obviously. Ceres is doing a great job. There's a cross map Q. That didn't work. Ah, freaking Ceres is trying her very best to get heals here. Hello, Barak. Surprise! It's -a me, a freaking flanker. Oh my god, Lex, don't do it. Lex, don't do it. Okay, we actually lived. Holy crap, I'm on a 10 streak. What happened? How did I get to this part? How did I get to being on a 10 streak? This has been mental. I just went back into my invis because of the loadout we've got. God damn, that card is really useful to have even at level 1. Let's get more Nimble. Let's get an extra kill to heal. I feel like Nimble works better than Kronos. I don't even feel like Kronos made much of a difference just because of the specific loadout we're using. I feel like that bonus movement speed from Nimble is way more noticeable. I'm way faster at getting around the map with this. Uh, also, hello, Genos. You are, you are, you are being killed today, and so is anybody else who might be near that bomb. I got the Sky. Nice. How did Sky not dodge a Sky Bomb? That seems like a really strange freaking thing right there. His shield is super annoying. Can we actually get rid of him here? There we go. Thank you very much. Let's use our invis. Nimble was such a good choice. You are gone, my good sir. That is our Cassie. Okay. Hello, Sky. You are out. Thank you. Let's get rid of this Lex as well. Q, he's out. All right. Okay, so this is the funny thing. I just checked to see what the Sky's using, and she's using pretty much the exact same loadout, except she's got one point into the one that buffs the movement speed on the Q, and one less on the one that resets... Um, and she's got one less on the one that reduces the quid on a poison bolt. So she's got the exact same loadout right now. So if we do better than her, then that'll be purely based on skill. Kind of. That's not exactly how it works, obviously. But pretty much, the Sky has the same loadout. And it's kind of strange that the Sky is also using the same loadout as us. Because I didn't see anybody else other than me just right now use it. So that's kind of funny. Their Cassie got top play. I don't know what this is going to be. Oh, it's actually our Cassie, not their Cassie. What am I saying? That dodge roll for some reason was bugged. So this is like a quadra kill, pretty much. She missed a couple shots in there and that that animation's really bugged but i'll take a top play pretty much pretty much just destroying the enemy team all right second game again a loss but not by all that much we got best flank so we did better than their sky and all that matters right now is if i have best damage if we have best damage then this is a win-win because we would have won both games not in the actual match but we would have had most damage which is really all that matters one more time lose it's a shame emir tv wait did i have emir tv on my team again this match oh no emir tv was on their team so he beat me both man matches i got matched with him twice what okay uh, he was the barrack that explains why he was focusing me a little bit shout out to MATV, you cheeky motherfucker. really strange that we got matched with me both times and actually killed me a significant amount both matches but looking at the stats right now we didn't have top damage it's a shame we would have if it wasn't for lack cassie if we'd have landed one more smoke bomb or one more poison bolt or one more anything we would have had top damage and if that cassie had missed one shot we would have had more top damage. She had like less than 200 more than us. So overall, I'll, I'll count that as a win. We went 12 to 9. We did a lot better that game than we did the other one because I was just getting better at, at getting that flow going. Honestly, great set of matches. I'm really happy with how that went. I'm glad that this was recommended to me. I think a couple of people actually recommended it in the comments as well, not just the email that I got from that dude. So yeah, this has been Smoke Bomb Sky. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you want to see me do next because that is where I get most of my recommendations on videos. It's from you guys, whether that's on Twitter and Instagram and stuff or whether that's in the comments. That's why I get most of it. So thank you guys for watching. See you all very, very soon. Leave a like if you did enjoy. And as always, stay for all stay.